Have you ever wondered how property is divided during a divorce? It's a pivotal question, and understanding it can be a game changer. The rules aren't universal, they can vary by state. In this video we're zeroing in on California's laws. We'll be exploring two key types of property, community and separate. They're distinct, and knowing the difference can significantly impact a divorce settlement. So, stick around to learn more about these two types of property and how they can affect a divorce settlement. First, we dive into community property, but what exactly does that mean? Well, in the simplest terms, community property refers to all assets and debts that a couple acquires during their marriage. It doesn't matter whose name is on the title. For instance, income earned by either spouse during the marriage or a home bought while married are considered community property. It's like saying, what's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine. In a nutshell, community property is all about sharing. Now, let's shift gears and explore separate property. How does it differ from community property? Well, separate property refers to assets and debts that belong solely to one spouse. This typically includes anything owned or owed before the marriage, gifts or inheritances received during the marriage, and any earnings or accumulations after the separation. Think of it like this, that heirloom necklace from your grandma? Separate property. The debt from your college loans before marriage? Also separate property. Simply put, separate property is all about individual ownership, what's mine is mine, and what's yours is yours. As we conclude, it's essential to remember a few key points. The main distinction between community and separate property lies in acquisition. Community property is what you and your spouse acquire during marriage, while separate property is what you bring into the marriage or acquire through gift or inheritance. Understanding this difference can significantly influence your divorce settlement. Remember, when it comes to divorce, knowledge truly is power. Equip yourself with the right information and seek professional advice if necessary.